Patrick Mahomes and Marcellus <laughs> Wiley here. I'm Jason Whitlock. We're joined now by Fox NFL analyst Tony Gonzalez and Greg Jennings. Who are you? Let's move to Tom. I thought we were talking about Patrick Mahomes. Oh, we're going to talk about Tom Brady's comments about Mahomes. Look at you. Brady's gearing up for a matchup with the greatest quarterback in the NFL, Patrick Mahomes, and the Kansas City Chiefs on Sunday. Brady couldn't escape questions about this year's breakout superstar quarterback, the greatest quarterback of all time. Brady says Mahomes has been, quote, impressive. He also put the brakes on comparisons to his own rookie year. Football was, was different then. You know, I think now I throw football is more of glorified college football. So I think in some ways it's the transition. It's a more similar game than what it used to be, you know, when I first started. I think football now is, is you know, with removing some of the physical elements of the game, it's just it's more of a space game. And, you know, you see a lot of kind of college plays, you know, more in the pro game now than, than what I remember when I started. You know, I hate to say this, but a uh, little hater in the house, I, I, I think. I mean, I think his comments are accurate. Mm. The game has changed. Mm. But why you got to say it this week? Mm. You could have said that last week. You could have said it last year. The rules have been changing. I, I love Tom Brady, but, I mean, this sounds a little... This is some shade being thrown here at Patrick Mahomes, and I don't understand. It. Look at you talking in third person. <laughs> How you going to say I'm oh, Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes? Look at you. Look at like Turbo on Beach Street more than anything. I, mean, I ain't mad at you, though. You look good. Um, this is full-out black buckshot. Like, this is not even, like, a veiled shot. This is, like, no, in scope. Where are you? Pow, shot at Patrick Mahomes because... Our job is to talk about era differences and, oh, how do you talk about this guy in one generation versus another generation? Not you, the player, um, but he gave him his props, and then he was like, back up. Stop this comparison stuff right now, and I know what you guys are doing. And it's interesting. This takes me back mentally. When you saw LeBron James play against Steph Curry, this was, what, two years ago in the finals? It was a dead ball situation, and LeBron had gotten tired of everyone saying, ooh, Steph's the new king. And it was a dead ball. And Steph Curry tried to go up for a shot. LeBron went, yeah, smacked that ball, looked at him, and dog cursed him right in that moment. Like, stay back, and everyone else, <laughs> stay aware. I'm still the king. I think... We saw that right there with Tom Brady. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I, I think it's a little shade, but but rightfully so. I mean, go ahead, he's that old dog, just like all of us sitting up here. We all look back now at the league and we're saying it's soft. It, the, the rules have changed. And football is not what it used to be. Football, there's people, even ex-players, are saying football's not even going to be around in 10 years because it's getting so soft now and it's getting so easy. So I And, and I, I kind of agree with that. I don't think football's going to end, but... Absolutely. He's throwing a little shade, and he should. Let it be known that, look, this game is way different. This is not what he... Look at Michael Jordan when he talks about someone like Steph Curry. He could, Steph Curry couldn't play in our day. That would never, ever happen. Mm. And it's true. It, it's different. Patrick Mahomes and uh, Tyreek Hill going over the middle. Rodney Harris isn't there anymore. John Lynch is not there anymore. You're not getting blasted. It's a different game. It's a lot more comfortable. And you can make plays. You can come in football ready now, young guys. And mm. I don't have a problem with it. I'm with I, you. I'm with I, you agree, I agree with all of you. I think he's throwing shade. But when you are constantly asked about someone who is thriving, who is becoming the next best thing, you get tired of being, answering those questions. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, am I going to show him some love? Yes, he's great. He's been able to do some great things. But then I'm going to throw some shots as well. But my only, my only problem with it is everybody... It's... It benefits Patrick Mahomes when his offense tailors around him. So for Tom Brady to say, uh, yeah, the offenses are more college-driven now, yeah, you, you tailor it to your quarterback situation. Just like Tom Brady, we don't see them running a lot of bootlegs and nakeds and getting him out the pocket. They tailor that offense in, in New England to Tom Brady. So don't, don't, don't be mad at what they're doing out there. And I'm, I'm going to give you sit. one other little piece that I think is involved in here, is there is some jealousy, and it's jealousy about Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, Sammy Watkins, Kareem Hunt, he, and Andy Reid. Mm. He's got every piece that Tom Brady's like, I don't have all them pieces. Gronk's hurt half the time. Mm. Julian elmo has been suspended. We just signed Josh Gordon out of a rehab facility. <laughs> uh, you know, he's like, oh, and this guy has everything. And then the last thing is, I think, and again, it's a little shot at Patrick Mahomes, but I think it's more of a shot at all the rookie quarterbacks that are having instant success earlier on. 
He's saying, and again, that's what he's talking about. You can just come in and install the little college system they played in, and they can have success in this league. Yeah, it's, it's amazing when you see from generation to generation, we all hold on to our highlights of our generation, whether it's in music. Oh, our music is the best. And my parents said the same thing. And now these kids are saying the same thing. Or, our music was better back then. It's easy. <laughs> Once again, you're proving my point, old man. No, and, but the fact. thing is, this is the old baked potato. Remember, we had to wait 45 minutes for that baked potato. Had yeah. to stab it. <laughs> Reynolds wrap all on it. You wait two days for a baked potato. Then these kids, like five minutes in the microwave, it doesn't taste the same. But guess what? It's like that instantaneous success. And he's like, it's impressive. But let me tell you the grind I went through to get here. He may catch up in numbers, but don't put him on the same level. I think Brady's already taking a shot at that. All right, let's move to Oakland, where John Gruden's return to the sidelines isn't exactly going according to plan. The Raiders are 1-4 and four after a loss to the Chargers Sunday, and Gruden says Derek Carr may be trying to do too much. I think he'll tell you. He's just trying. He's just trying so hard. But I think he just he just presses in some, some moments, and um, he knows we have to do a lot with the ball when we have it. And um, I think that's what happened today. All right, a few years ago, Carr was the NFL's next big thing, but now he's leading the league in interceptions. Carr even has more than Jags, uh, Blake Bortles. All right, I, I, I think Derek Carr is a talented quarterback. He's mm. playing for the wrong head coach. I, I think uh, John Gruden is a micromanager, and unless you're Brad Johnson and very limited and go out there and be a robot, I think it's hard to play for John Gruden. And, you know, I got a little bit of a bias. He ran off Jeff George, the guy I grew up with out of Oakland after the guy had a tremendous 29 TD, non-interception year the year before. John Gruden's just very hard. He wants to control the quarterback, and I think Derek Carr's cracking under that pressure. I hear Rich Gannon disagreeing with you right now because he was just floating around there. He got some John Gruden in his life, and things changed drastically. That said, um... I look at John Gruden, and he's doing a proper assessment of his young quarterback. He's trying to make him unlearn some bad habits, uh, and he's also trying to tell him what we've all heard. Try easy. Don't try hard. Try easy. Now, like, stay within yourself, but give maximum effort. That's it. This 110%, stop with that falseness because it's making you make bad decisions. So last year, under a coach that I love, that I played for, Jack Del Rio, he was actually worse. Look at Derek Carr last year versus this year. He was the worst quarterback last year. It's amazing that we're giving Gruden all this criticism. In reality, he's made him better in every category except the one he's trying to correct, which is the interceptions, which is coming from the intensity and try hard that's coming from Derek Carr. So all things considered, Derek Carr has to be happy he has a John Gruden in his life. Yeah, I don't blame John Gruden for his struggles. You put up last year's numbers, but that holds true for his career. His numbers this year are better than his entire career, with the exception of the game's interception. easier. You can say that, but, <laughs> game's but, easier. but as, as far as productivity, you still got to produce, and he, his per completion percentage is higher. I think the number one thing, the takeaway that I listen to when I take when I hear that that soundbite, John Gruden says we have to do a lot with the ball when we got it. Basically, our defense isn't stopping anybody, <laughs> so it's all on us. This is what John Gruden does. Yeah. He focuses on one side of the ball, offense. You had Khalil Mack. You let him go. You focused. You, you, you talked and praised Derek Carr. This is, this is the next best thing. The, oh, I love this young quarterback. He's good. He's great. He's this. Now he's throwing too many picks because he knows the pressure is on me. I have to do it all. Well, you know what? John Gruden is such a... He's a polarizing guy. I mean, I, you take a poll. Most people, either you like him or you don't like him. I think you don't like him for, no, no. for, for reason. I, I go, no, I've praised John early in the year. I've watched some of their games where I thought he made a difference. I think he's just particularly hard on a quarterback, yeah. like Larry Brown and point guards in the NBA. Larry Brown got the best out of them. I'm not sure if John Gruden always gets the best out of his quarterback. Well, in this day and age... With a guy like Derek Carr, and this is where we have to ask ourselves, how good do we think Derek Carr really is? I mean, is he a top 15 quarterback? Is he a top 20 quarterback? Where does he rank in, 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 in your rankings in the NFL quarterbacks? He should be putting up better numbers. I, I agree. I think all these quarterbacks, if you're not putting up hmm. at least 250 yards a week, then something is wrong, hmm. especially in this day and age. That's the way I judge quarterbacks from here on out. Agreed. What we saw last night with Drew Brees, you see what he did, 250 yards in the first half. That's what a pro 
that's what one of the all-time best can do. So I would expect these young quarterbacks in this seven-on-seven -seven league that we have now to be able to put up better numbers. And Derek Carr, he's got to play better than this because otherwise they're paying him a lot of money right now. Yeah. And, and he's definitely not a foot in the bill for, the, for what they're paying him. And it's interesting if you really want to be fully transparent. I think he's given us a... Uh, 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 kind of like an understanding of the psychological makeup of Derek Carr. And it's interesting, um, if you look at him, he seems wound too tight. Now, what does that mean? That means in pressure moments, and I went to the Chargers game, and they were down on the goal line. And I'm like, whoa, they're about to score, and this place about to erupt, and it's going to be a game. And Derek Carr just aimlessly ran around and just threw it into the bread basket of Melvin Ingram. And Next thing you know, he's running the other way. The point of that is, I think he's saying he's trying too hard. This has nothing to do with his talent. This has nothing to do with him doing the plays that I called. This has nothing to do with the X's and O's. This is about the I's and the U's. And it's crazy. One of our assessments as a defender, I remember getting a game plan that had Peyton Manning, and one page is always pros, one page is cons. And I was like, ain't gonna be nothing on the con page. This is Peyton Manning, he's amazing. It said, in tight situations will give you the ball back. In tight situations may break down. You're like, what? And then you saw that play out in playoff moments time and time again. A uh, Clayton Kershaw comes to mind. Amazing normally. Get him in those critical moments, as World Series, whatever. You're like, a little too tightly wound. I think this is the first step of John Gruden letting us know who's that Who's winding him up, though? Who's tightening? Who's making him more tight? It may be the guy looking over his shoulder, second-guessing everything. Sometimes when you're that quarterback guru, maybe you're trying too hard as well as a coach. But and he's that playing makes the better, player. to your point, to my point, to the numbers point. That would make sense if he weren't playing better by the numbers. I don't understand that and, part. And I also think sometimes you can get so caught into going to your go-to guy, and right now Jared Cook is clearly his go-to yeah, guy. Yeah. He has Amari Cooper. He has Jordy Nelson. He has Bryant. He has weapons around him, but he's getting locked into one guy. And when teams start to see you have a tendency they start taking that away, and that's when you start throwing them the ball back. I love you. I don't know. We got time for this? Or? No, we don't. Coming up, <laughs> Jerry Jones <laughs> trying to back off Hurt. from his criticism of Jason hey, we can Gary. <laughs> today. But does he really support the coach? Find out. Hurts. No. <laughs> this is the not for sale Kia.